All right, how's it going, YouTube? Um, so it's good to be back. It feels like I've been heard on a view in ages. Um, so, all right. Um, as you can see, background is all changed. Uh, finally moved out of home. Yeah, home. Moved out again with Jane. So, yay! That's pretty cool. Um, just me and her, and also a nice big house. And so. This is all mine, so it's cool. But it's like it's pretty messy. It's pretty crappy because I'm still trying to fix it all up. So <laughs> a bit lazy. But um, yeah. So lots of things, lots of things. Um, I've accidentally left my eyebrow ring out for two weeks now. I keep thinking about, but I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Not anymore. Um. Anyways, so I've been on testosterone now for three months. It's actually, oh, hello, look at that. Three months yesterday, so it's exciting. Um, 14 weeks in total. I hope that adds up. 27, three months, but otherwise 14 weeks I've been on testosterone. Um, I had my fifth shot, which is usually when I do my update, on the 20th of April. So, let me look. Yeah. So not the Friday, just gone, because it's, it's, it's Saturday the 28th of April, by the way. Um, so not Friday, just yesterday. The week before that was my fifth shot, and um, so that was easy. And then on the following Monday, on the 23rd of April, I had my appointment with my endocrinologist, Dr. Tony Hunter, at um, the Monash Medical Center. Yep. Um, so I'm up with him to check up, and he was seemed extremely pleased with the way everything's been going. He said it's been, everything's smooth sailing and went, like really on track, which he loves. Um, so yeah, so he said I am good as gold to go onto a full shot now, which will be. Hang on, I will get it for you. Oh, I only have one left. Um, so, ah, there we go, so that's it again when I'm on. So now, I hope you, can you read that? Yeah, it's a bit blurry. But yeah, so now I'll be on the whole thing, one full shot. Um, one mil contains 250 milligrams of primatestin. Yeah. Um, so now I have that every three weeks, um, which is really exciting. So my next shot is on the one, two, 11th of May, which I can't wait for. Um, so yeah, that'll be cool. Um, what do you say? So I'm on my full shot now and everything's all nice and good. Yeah, changes. Um, not really much difference from the last time because of moving out and at work, we had different massive inspections and uh, I just was a very, very busy, it's been a very ex busy two, to, like three, four to two, two to four weeks, recently, since my last video really, it's just been really hectic and busy and moving out and my mum shattered her kneecap and was in hospital and I had to help her fix up all that and it's just been crazy busy so I, I haven't really eaten properly or been working out so I haven't put on any weight so that's not good but um yeah so no real changes i've really noticed facial hair i've still got my one i shaved it you can't see one little black hair comes through here but i can see a few more black hairs starting to come through here um and all like all like on this kind of area you won't be able to see it but i'm not lying they're they're just like all here and i can feel them so these little black hairs are coming through which is pretty cool. And um, my voice, I, I'm not going to know if this is much different to the last time. But my voice um, <coughs> is getting croaky and coming in and out. So that's um, still breaking a little bit. Which the endo says, um, once I start my full shot, it's really going to properly break and get a lot deeper. And it'll take a few months. So that's cool. Um, like I said, my little monthly enemy, not my friend. <laughs> Um, was slowing down last time I said that. I have now gone two months without it, so I think it's done and dusted. Yes, it's going to be one of the most exciting things about this. So it's gone, and I love it. I love why well, I love it. I love that it's gone. But um, yes, yeah, so that's really cool. Um, 
what else? I think that's pretty much it. It's changes. Nothing really up. Must have changed. Um, I'm just waiting now for the full shot, and really things can start getting going, and hopefully changing heaps. But um, and after three more months, after 12 weeks, I have to go and get blood taken, and they're gonna check my hormone levels and make sure my blood isn't. I don't have too many red blood cells and stuff because of the tea, so that I will do all that as well and make sure all my hormone levels are where they should be. So that's pretty much it for transition. I really hope I don't make this video too long, but I'm already at five minutes. Um, so, like, uh, uh, since moving out, I haven't had the internet for like two weeks, so that's why I haven't made a video, and I'm really super excited to have the internet and catch up on all my videos. Like, I haven't been able to watch Skylar or Aiden, so it's like Align Fears and Skylark 11 and Xander, no, I don't remember his new name, and Nearly Ace, which is Jace, um, so... I haven't been able to watch any of their videos or chat to any of them, so I'm really glad to be back. Um, but apart from the transition in all life, um, I had um, general life. I moved out of home, so that's one. But just thought I'd plug it in as well, just because he's my brother. Um, my brother Aaron is a awesome drummer, really awesome. Because he's only been playing I think for probably two years now, maybe. Maybe three. I'm not sure. Um, but he has finally gotten into his own band called Sailor Beware. Sailor Beware. Um, really awesome band. And as long as this works, I'm going to try and maybe add a couple of videos at the end of this video. But um, if not, I'll put a link down to their video. Um, if you live, if you are in Melbourne, um, you know the nightclub um, Bang. Then their lead singer, Ellie, often has an acoustic set there. Um, if you live in Melbourne and you know the band Summer of Betrayal, then the guitarist, and I think maybe vocals, from that band Grant Elliott is the lead guitarist in the band as well. So it's Ellie, who does acoustic sets at Bang, Grant Elliott from The Reasons Why and Summer of Betrayal is in the band, and my brother plays as the um, percussionist. So they're sound really awesome, they've written a few good songs. They've only been a band for like a month now, but I've got some videos of a gig they played in the local area. So that's really cool, um, and I think that's about it. Everything's been going pretty good. But yeah, I was, I was getting really dysphoric leading up to my next shot, like it was starting to get really bad. And I explained that to my Andrew that at the, the last week before my next shot, it's, it gets really emotional and hormones flying and everything. So he said, stick to the full shot for three months, and when I come see him again, if I'm having the same issue, we might bump it up to, uh, the shot every two weeks. Yeah, um, otherwise that's pretty much it for changes, and obviously i get out of here at 8 minutes. Um, I will post another video after my next shot, because I will have the internet, so I'll be able to do that. Um, otherwise, yeah, peace out. That one, not that one. Catch ya.